Hi everyone, my name is Davor and I'm a Master of Education student at UBC. Today I'll be talking, be showing you a short demonstration on magnetic field lines. Now, over here I have a compass and over here I have a magnet. And as many of you might know, when we bring a magnet close to a compass, it changes the direction of the compass. That's why if we have magnets close to a compass, we can't actually tell in which direction we're going because they mess with the compass. And why, why is that? You know, why does the compass change directions? It's because all magnets uh, have a north and south, and magnetic field lines run from the north side of the magnet to the south, and they run all around the magnet. Um, they're invisible and we can't see them, but we can visualize them when we put you know, a compass next to it. We can see how the field lines, it indicates the direction. And these field lines go from north to south, and that's the way that the compass is pointing. Now, it's difficult just to see with one magnet where all these field lines are. And that's why we have this over here. Uh, it's a glass block, and inside it is a fluid in which is suspended some iron filings. And these iron filings are very sensitive to magnetic fields. Before I do this, I need to shake out this block and I need to make sure all the iron filings are equally distributed within the fluid. All right? So we can see they're all mixed up. And then what I do next is I take this magnet and I put it inside. And can you see how the iron filings are arranging themselves? according to the magnetic field lines. You can see how they're running all the way around here. It's a much better way of visualizing the magnetic field. You can think of each of these iron filings as a tiny little compass that's pointing itself in the direction from north to south and showing us the field lines. As you can see, we've let uh, the magnets stay inside for a while and we've let the iron filings settle out and now you can see the magnetic field lines even clearer see as they run and because we have different magnets put in here you can see there's different concentrations of iron filings depending on the strength of the magnets as they're running around from north to south